Aloha and welcome to another episode of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Chantel Seville. Today I'm excited to have a few wonderful and inspiring females on the show. They are from Reach the Runway, which is all about inspiring and empowering girls to follow their passion in creativity and specifically fashion. So there is a lot of industry um, types of positions that you can have within this industry and we'd love to introduce you to our guests who are going to tell you a bit more about what Reach the Runway is all about and how you could get involved. So firstly, this is Stacy Makia, who's the Executive Director of Reach the Runway. Hi! Welcome, Hi. thank you for coming. <laughs> then we have uh, Keisha Littman, who is a makeup artist and mentor for Hi. the <laughs> Reach the Runway. And we have Billy here, who is um, former Miss Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So it's Billy Leader and welcome ladies. Thanks for coming to the show. It's wonderful you. to have you Thank in the studio. You. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's great to have you as well out there and inspiring and empowering girls because I mean in this today's day and age you know we need more girls out there doing what they love. So yeah. mm -hmm. let's start with you Stacy. Can you tell us a bit about Reach the Runway and how it was founded and um, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, Reach the Runway is the official nonprofit of Honolulu Fashion Week. Um, I'm also a fashion editor with the magazine, with Honolulu Magazine, um, and it basically mentors middle school kids in various fields of fashion, whether it's photography, journalism, hair and makeup, modeling, um, creative design, fashion design, styling. All There's seven categories that we um, help kids learn more about in the creative arts and, like you said, mostly it you know, a fashion side to it. And um, it just started because I think that working in the fashion industry for so long, it's just, we wanted to give back somehow and empower not only girls, boys too, to, you know, understand that they can have a career in the fashion industry and help us build this, this amazing fashion, like <coughs> community that we have here on Oahu. So I think that combining our love for passion and our love for helping, you know, um, empower today's youth, it kind of just came naturally together and we get to work with people that we work with every day, you know, so yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> it's really fun. Everybody is like family and friends here, so it kind of just goes together and, you know, we love each other and we're just, for us as an in-house uh, team, we're just excited that we could have amazing mentors to work with. Yeah. yeah. That's Amazing, awesome. and it, yeah. you can always you can, straight away when you meet any of you, it's just you just have this feel about you that is so warm and welcoming, and actually, you know, you can tell that any young person who would aspire to something would want to aspire to doing what it is that you do in whichever yeah. field. So even as a makeup artist, tell us a bit about your makeup artist journey and how you got involved with Reach Runway. Um, well, I've been working with Honolulu Magazine with Stacy for gosh, I don't know more than five years now. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, and then they asked me about being a mentor. Last year it was our first year, so second year going on, and it's amazing. We get to create our own syllabus, you know, and work hand in hand with them about our syllabus and what we want to do for hair and makeup. So it's not just makeup; we also teach hair. So we have two other mentors that are in our hair and makeup. Um, you know, group and they're amazing. Yeah. So a young um, young woman. So it's for grades five, no, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Yeah. Yes. So if a young girl who is interested in hair, mm -hmm. perhaps she had a natural talent. She's yeah. always doing mm -hmm. people's hair. It's something that would be great for her too. Of course, absolutely. They can just go in and uh, there's like a process for it. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Yes. Apply. Which I think is important because in that way they're serious because otherwise I, yeah. I find that people are like, yeah, I want to do that. And it's, do you really, when you actually are put to it, do you really want to do it? And I mean, mentors like yourself who are putting so much of your time to this, you want to make sure that the young people, they might be young, but if they're serious, I mean, it's exactly <laughs> potential is un unlimited. Yeah. And for yourself, so you were a former Ms. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice title. <laughs> Uh, so I was Miss Hawaii 2000, so um, it was an amazing experience getting to represent our state, uh, both locally and then internationally, um, and just being a goodwill ambassador. But uh, my platform during that year of service was mentoring, so peer mentoring, so actually this all kind of fell really <laughs> nicely because I was always into mentorship. And so um, working with these middle schoolers and then having them also learn from each other, I think that's been a magical um, piece that we've all kind of seen is um, how the different students, not just within our individual groups, but when they do get to work together on their like final culminating project of the cover look. That's so um, <laughs> it is, it is. It's really neat to see like our mini-me's 
get to work <laughs> and put to practice all the things that they've learned throughout the past Because you, you have like, three mini-me's each, essentially? Is it yeah. about yeah. two to three? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. three. <laughs> where we started, it was three mm -hmm. mentors and three kids per mm -hmm. each group. So they kind of get one-on-one -on -one attention. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. But they also can um, build teamwork skills and work together and collaborate on different projects. The end goal for the last two years was producing a magazine cover because that's the background we all come from. Half of the mentors come from Pacific Basin Communications and that includes Honolulu Magazine and a couple other well-known publications. So it's fun, like all of them came and wanted to be a part of it from creative design to you know, styling to um, journalism. So the end project is always a bigger magazine cover and that we print out and, you know, everybody has a part in it. That's what we all do when we're together, mm -hmm. you know. So a model, hair and makeup, photographer, um, cover lines right. on the magazine, mm -hmm. styling, you know, cre the fashion design, they're making the garments for the model to wear. Um, creating they're actually making the garments for so the mm -hmm. designs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how, so how old are, so are, they, are they, what is it, ten, about 9, 10, 11 years old? Or yeah, 11, 11, 12, yeah. yeah. And they're making their, that's just... Yeah, yeah they only mm -hmm. have uh, eight weeks to make it. Mm -hmm. right. And it's we meet every other Sunday, so that's not much, that much time. But I think we all learned that these kids, like, they're amazing. They we are. underestimate <laughs> what they can yeah. do, you mm -hmm. know, and then we're shocked by just when they come in and their level of passion, creativity, you know, determination. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that has surprised all of us. And like Billy said, when they get together and do a group project, they make friends, mm -hmm. they yeah. collaborate. I mean, you see the magic all happen. And yeah. I think we're all proud mamas and papas because yeah. there's <laughs> a <laughs> see and it's hard to, like, hold back the tears because you see it and you happening see at the happen. end of the show. <laughs> worth every you know right. ounce of time that everybody puts in i mean right. the mentors really make the program happen we could have done it with we have 21 amazing mentors this year and they come from various fields and um i honestly like the pro i like i said the program wouldn't be anything without them they give up their time they give up time with their family or their careers and you know they all have this passion and it shows and the kids gravitate towards them and you know it's just yeah every parent who has been a part of it is like so thankful, and they get you know they get to see what mm -hmm. they do, and yeah. well, I think the exposure is so is so neat. Having exposure to people like your mentors is. Yeah. You were just recently at Paris Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. yes. What was that like, or what did you do there? That's pretty oh, incredible. That was amazing. <laughs> um, fashion shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very high stress. So I can you know putting myself in my uh, mentee's shoes. It's like okay for the first shoot I've ever did in my life what did that feel like and mm -hmm. you can see that energy mm -hmm. and that excitement but also that like I don't know it just mm -hmm. you know it's an exciting feeling but and is it one of those things that you're always I guess going to that Paris Fashion Week would have been something no, new to you my first time yeah so yeah. it'd be something <laughs> you know as even as we get older yeah. it's still something new to us and like exactly. you get yeah. you still exactly. get a little bit nervous, nervous. no yeah. different than of the course. girls that'll be at the Honolulu Fashion mm -hmm. Week for Reach the Runway. So mm -hmm. it's it's kind of neat for the, these girls to be exposed to see. Yes. Look, we all experience it at different times. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just a matter of addressing it and learning how to get on right. with it exactly. so you can keep mm -hmm. keep doing that along the way. And then mm -hmm. with yourself, you help the girls with confidence and walking and yes. going into photo shoots. and Yeah, and just being prepared and, and how to... A lot of it is um, your attitude mm -hmm. and going into it, being positive, saying please and thank you, and just going in with a positive attitude, respecting the people that are in the different industry. I think that is probably half the battle. The other half then is it can be learned and in, in over time with experience about how to how to walk properly on the runway, how to how to pose in front of a camera, how to interact with the different team members. But really, the first half of it is really having that good attitude, learning to be on time be responsible for your things, taking care of the, the garments that you are, you know, wearing or modeling and just that type of respect for the industry. And with the industry, I mean, the industry's had a lot of criticism over years about, mm -hmm. you know, skinny models and this and that right. and, and whatnot. What's your um, best advice for a girl who it would what, like to pursue to be a model? Mm -hmm. So the great examples are being positive and going into different... Um, oh, yeah shoots like that but is there a certain look that they go for or is it now open to anyone these days I mean they have plus size models they have yeah. <laughs> miniature size models I'm sure they have something for everyone right. so what is your best advice for girls who are interested in being a model I think anything goes nowadays 
And so my biggest story when I would go in and talk to students, especially when I was Miss Hawaii, is that no one's perfect. Mm -hmm. Because they see you with a crown on and they think, oh my gosh, she's a princess, you know, she's perfect. And I'm like, I'm not perfect. I'm like, you know, I have a double chin. I have a, <laughs> one ear is bigger than the other. So I used to call that my Nemo ear. Oh. And so I would show them, because I was always criticized, don't ever wear your hair pulled back because you can see the difference. So your butt, your face looks unsymmetrical and uneven. And that, that actually hurt me for several years. And like I had a, re so in my 20s, I had a really, I had a complex about it. Now that I'm entering into my 40s, I'm, I feel the most confident that I am now with my looks and just learning how to work it and work with what I got. But that's what Perfect. I tell the girls is that, um, <laughs> you know, I was still Miss Hawaii. I still get booked for <laughs> runway shows. I still get to do some cool things like be on this show, you know? And so those limitations have not, limited me from doing what I wanted to pursue. So I think it really comes down to having a good positive attitude and that's what draws people mm -hmm. to you and they want to be able to use you and connect with you and, and all of that. So I think it really comes down from the inside. Exactly. And then the beauty part is just a bonus, you know, but you can enhance it in any way you want. Yeah, we've all wish. seen magazines or how things and you can, right. you know, yeah. do anything that exactly. you like. I mean, I'm not saying that your <laughs> magazine yeah. edits things, but just in general, you can really but it's, if you come with the right attitude and from the right Absolutely. grounding, and I think that that's what really inspired me and, and caught my eye about Reach the Runway, is you're really giving these girls a nice foundation to be able to pursue their passions and their natural creativity, because as we said, if they like doing hair, if they have a natural like to pose. I mean, ever since I was little, I like posing and be on TV, <laughs> so why not have your own show? Yeah. <laughs> and that's, yeah, we definitely teach um, for the hair and makeup, uh, teach them how to let go of that limiting belief mm -hmm. and just believe yeah. in themselves, yeah. you know, and have that confidence. And it's beauty from the inside out, basically, yeah. you know. Yeah. So exactly. let and, what, go of that. and what's really neat too is this year, this is only our second year, but we have some returnees from, who are mentees last year in different areas. So I have um, one mentee, model mentee, who was a model last year, and she returned this year as a photography mm. oh, uh, wow. mentee. <laughs> so it's actually really neat because now she can see from the opposite side, yeah. The, yeah. with a different lens on, you know, what it takes to be a photographer and then also a model. And I think that's really, really good. I mean, I worked yeah. in marketing, mm -hmm. but when you can be on both sides, yeah. mm -hmm. it's incredible because right. then you have so much more attention to detail. Mm -hmm. exactly. And we're just going to take a short break, ladies. We've got so much more exciting things to talk about. So stay tuned because after the break, we'll be talking about the alumni program as well as Reach the Runway at the upcoming Honolulu Fashion Week. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And this is Crystal That's Quark. That's right. I'm Crystal, and I host Quark Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do. <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important, and, and sometimes they're a little shocking. And you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Well said. Well, I like yours because you can find any topic and any type of character, but you will find that source which brought them to the product of that creative process. And I thought that's like the most important thing is the process. Awesome. Right? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's all about the process. And I think we'll find world peace when we know each other's stories. So thank you very much for bringing that to us. Join thank us you. on Think Tech. <laughs> think Tech. Hawaii, anytime. <laughs> Aloha and welcome back to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Chantel Seville, and we're back to you with Reach the Runway. Now, Stacy, who is the executive director of Reach the Runway, is going to tell us a little bit about the alumni program. Yeah. Um, because we want the fashion community to grow, we didn't want to stop the program after, or their learning, after just one you know, one class session, which lasts 10 weeks. We wanted to keep encouraging them to pursue their creative art dreams and, you know, just um, support them in that. So we started an alumni program, and basically we try to plan an activity every month that deals with the creative arts that the girls can get together and do and, you know, just um, keep their mind fresh, keep them going, keep their dreams alive and just you know keep them in touch with the mentors because they really do make friends with the mentors and the other girls I mean so um, last month we had a block printing class at the Honolulu Museum of Art what's block printing it's like um, <laughs> they kind of 
carved out a pattern on soft wood blocks nice. and then they would print it on certain materials you know so they did that um, this month we have uh, I think it's a hakulei making, mm -hmm. hakule making class where they're gonna team up with um, one of the designers we know Meliana and she's gonna kind of instruct them how to make a you know how mm -hmm. flower hakule. crowns and everything is coming <coughs> yeah. around now and so it's kind of using tropical flowers and they'll get to do that with her um, they're also going to have another class for our, which I'm excited about is a Halloween makeup class. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> can yeah. I come? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know exactly what we're going to create. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So we kind we try to pull in the mentors as much as possible to kind of you know help us plan what kind of classes we can offer them. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the kids get really excited about that. And this year, I we have 40 kids now instead of 20. I know. Like, oh, I can get all of these people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every year, progressively, I guess they become mm -hmm. aluminized. Yeah. And then next yeah. year, you'll have 60. And is that yeah. how? We're trying not to think that far ahead. <laughs> 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 oh. so how do you do that? And they're like, um, what happens next year? I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll talk about that yeah. next year. Yeah. It's yeah. one of those things. Yeah. You work it out as, yeah. as you go along. Exactly. But what I absolutely love about that is you're keeping these girls together and inspired by their passion. Yeah. Because I think in society, when girls are don't have something that they're inspired by, yes. girls or guys, but I mean the show is <laughs> generally for girls, is that you're more worried about comparing yourself and, mm -hmm. and this and that. Whereas if you're doing these activities and looking forward to them monthly about inspiration and surrounding yourself with other like-minded people yeah. who are really yes. on a journey yeah. to yeah. being their best selves, yeah. I mean, what a perfect way and monthly at least you know it's mm -hmm. just regular because yeah. yeah. as you said before if they just do the program and then see you later yeah. Yeah. then they go you know what maybe my dream to be a fashion designer yeah. isn't real after all exactly. but when you're surrounded by that type of community who believes in you mm -hmm. you know sometimes it's someone who needs to believe in you more than you believe in yourself yeah and that's yeah. what a mentor support, can see yeah. in yeah. And I think the girls naturally they we have seen them support each other, mm -hmm. which is amazing. No. Yes, yes, that is <laughs> that is what we need more of. Yes. This is what we yeah. need more yeah. of. Everyone. And they like have formed projects on their own. We see on Instagram or something. They kind of connect, you mm -hmm. know, and they mm -hmm. do their own projects. And you know, it's just amazing that they um, they have somewhere to go. Like sixth, seventh, eighth grade is a hard year. Yeah. We know yeah. as girls, you know. I mean, <laughs> we've all been there. Yes, <laughs> and it's kind of where you start finding your place and finding what you want to do and find you know pursuing your passion. So that's why we chose these grades. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think that, like from everything we've seen, the girls have grown over the years, and some of oh, them yeah. we see <laughs> them returning, and mm -hmm. we're like, wow, you know, just the way they carry. I mean, these mentors don't only teach them the the category, you know, the skills in that category. They're teaching them life skills mm -hmm. that they can carry on through anything they pursue. You know, exactly. And so mm -hmm. I, you know, I can't thank them enough. We're very fortunate to have a group amazing group of mentors that oh, we work with. As you read the website, the yeah. mentors, mm -hmm. just, the list goes on and on of amazing yeah, people. On. I'm like, can I get them all here? Can we, all have, <laughs> can we squish everyone in? Yeah. We'll have to yeah. do more shows so we can get more of them on as yeah. well. But with, um, so with the Honolulu Fashion Week, so this mm -hmm. is, you know, really aligned with Honolulu Fashion Week. How, so they do the program and that's uh, 10 weeks, is it? Yes. So they do the, so they apply for the program, they do the 10 week program and then how, how does that link in with the fashion week? Do they actually get to do a fashion show or how does that all work? Um, they get to participate in a fashion show and this year they're participating in Kimi Zamora's fashion show. I don't know if everyone has heard of him, but he is amazing. He's from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He's from a HCC, right? Mm -hmm. And he's yep. um, been on Project Runway twice. And he's been on one of the shows oh, here really? apparently as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so he's amazing. He always gives back. He always knows where his roots come from and mm -hmm. he wants to support the youth. He's in various, you know, nonprofit organizations and he's just mm -hmm. an amazing person. And so he, um, last year he did the show for us too and all the benefits go mm -hmm. to, or proceeds go to Reach the run Runway, the so. ticket sales. And so this year he's doing it again. But this year the, um, the Reach the Runway class this year is going to get to participate with him and see kind of the evolution of the how he preps mm -hmm. for the runway show. I mean, all of us know yeah. that it takes an army to produce oh, a fashion yeah. show, you right. know? And what you see on the runway is not what's going on backstage. Right. 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 Yeah. We're hoping to get a little bit backstage. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of that, yeah. you know, what's happening really. Yeah. So this is what you see, yeah. and this is what's really yeah. happening. Yeah, exactly. You know, we've been there. Lame room. Yes, <laughs> everything is being thrown. There's like, you know, there's, you can't be afraid of nothing when yeah. you go backstage. Do it away, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> It's amazing to make a point. <laughs> 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 but this is what's really important to know. I mean, mm -hmm. people, oh, makeup artists. But really, yeah. a makeup artist has a huge 
part of oh, it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, thing you see. the focus is on the model or on the outfit, right. but really you need to have the makeup. You need to have the girls mm -hmm. learn how to walk properly yes, to, in right. order to make yes. a show yeah. run successfully. Yes. And you need good photography to capture yes. that. So, I mean, yes. there's so many elements involved. Yeah. So your show, the Honolulu Fashion Week, is free, I believe, as well? Yes, and it's yeah. at 2 p.m., well, the show is the entrance is free, but the 2 p.m. If you want tickets, you have to purchase the tickets. Oh, great! And how much yeah. are they? I think um, I don't know. Well, if it's on the right. Honolulu yeah. Fashion Week website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, which is great because, as you said, it all goes back to reach the runway, yes. so it's perfect. I yeah. mean, anyone watching this who lives in Hawaii, be sure to go support <laughs> yes. that because that's supporting your girls. And right. if you are girls, go I mean, go see what you're in yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> the Honolulu Fashion mm -hmm. Week experience mm -hmm. is amazing. Oh, I can't wait to. We, I yeah. mean, there's 12 Covered. shows that, you know, I mean, just showcases talent from here from Australia to New York to mm -hmm. Korea like it's it's just an amazing mm -hmm. um, production to be a part of so I'm yeah. glad that you know the kids get to see it and they get to see witness what actually happens yeah. and exactly. be a part of it more importantly because I think I mean a big a big person about aspiring I grew up in central Canada where there's nothing much there but anything I see I'm like, I can do that yeah I can mm -hmm. go to Australia I can do this so when girls can actually watch these mm -hmm. runway shows and almost have contact, maybe not necessarily speaking yeah. to the big designers mm -hmm. or whatnot, yeah. but to see it, it's like, you know what, when I grow up, I can do that. And I just think that that's yeah. such a great oh, yeah. opportunity for any um, young girl in Hawaii. And if you, you know, can't, yeah. um, you know, make the whole show, at least try and come down and see Reach the Runway yeah. and yeah. Yeah. have a little... And even your littlest ones. So, like, last year, I brought my, my two daughters, and now they're six and eight, but last year, you know, I brought them to one of the shows, and they just had a fabulous time, <laughs> and they I was worried about them being really, you know, squirmy in their seats, but they actually did great, and they enjoy, completely enjoyed the show. They totally want to be a part of Reach the Runway when <laughs> they get of age, and, and be a part of all the fun, too, because they always see Mommy going off and helping these girls, and I... Sh come back home I yeah. show them the pictures yeah. and so they what a great way to get your family involved yeah. and to inspire yeah. these girls Absolutely. from such a young age mm -hmm. what is it there's it's so it's sponsored by Hawaiian Airlines that's the, the main, Honolulu Fashion Week uh, yeah. the Honolulu yes. Fashion Week sorry yeah Honolulu yeah. Fashion Week which Reach the Runway will be yeah, um, a part of a part of yes and with do you happen to know the five the some of the top designers that are going to be on at, the, Honolulu, Fashion at the Honolulu Fashion Week at um, the Hawaiian Airlines yes. feature? Or the Hon because it, there's a separate Hawaiian Airlines show. Yes, that yeah. one. Who's um, on just to give the audience? I think it's Marissa Webb is what that is confirmed. Um, I think for the Hawaii one, it's Jeffrey Yoshida. Um, I believe just to give a little taste. Yeah. <laughs> just a yeah. tiny taste. Yeah. We'll leave um, the rest you can go and find out yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but just I, to give you an yeah. idea of caliber. Yeah. A lot of my... <laughs> Um, attention has been focused on Reach the Runway, so where is all the, the most important yeah. attention goes? Yeah, to, and that's what we're but excited about. But definitely go check it out because I know there's amazing designers that you wouldn't be able to see unless you went to these places. Yeah, and they're huge mm -hmm. names. That's why. That's why it's yes. just awesome. I mean, yes. if you're going to go see Reach the Runway. Go and yeah. see some of the other shows as well, just to get that inspiration for mm -hmm. fashion. You never know what you're going to see when you're exposed to something. Yeah. Something might inspire um, something within you, so be sure to check that out. The gala, this is most yes. important. Tell us about the gala. The gala, this is our first year doing the gala. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking on something that we never knew, and it was like event planning. So um, it's been, um, it's just a fundraising gala for Reach the Runway. It's called Fashion in Paradise. Um, it's, we are encouraging people to wear your local fashion, but, mm -hmm. you know, turn it up a notch and make it your own and style and it maybe up. make your own. Yeah. Exactly. For the girls who are yeah. creative, make your own. Yeah, exactly. And maybe not me so much. I won't <laughs> make <it laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, But, yeah, it's a fantastic event. It's on November 9th. It's at Salt Cock Ako. Um, it's from 6 to 10 p.m. It's We're going to have great, amazing food. You're going to get to see the kids. They're going to produce a fashion mm -hmm. show. Wow. You know, there's going to be a DJ. There's going to be entertainment. And it's just it's just a way for us to keep the free program going, yep. you mm -hmm. know. And just, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just going to be a big party for the mentors. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know, <laughs> like the <laughs> you know? So I think that... They're looking forward to it as well, you know, and it's just going to be so a So is really everyone welcome, men, women, children? Is everyone welcome, or is it something... No, it, yeah, everybody, everybody is welcome, yeah, and just find um, the tickets and... On your uh, website, Hotbuy, on the yeah, Reach the Runway dot com, And, yeah, I hope that everybody comes on, because I think it's going to be an amazing turnout, and mm -hmm. just, you know... Supporting the, our local <laughs> community, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And our future, you know, we want to leave a legacy for them, so... That's yeah. awesome. And what I was about mm -hmm. to do before we wrap up the show is if we can go one by one for your best advice for a young girl who wants to pursue their passion in whatever industry it might be, we'll start with you, Stacey. Oh, start with Billy. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
very good delegate. She was going to start with you. Do you have a question for me? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're on a Miss Hawaii now. <laughs> yes, well, we're on Miss Hawaii now. Right, <laughs> Taking you back to the old days. Yes. <laughs> I guess best advice is don't be afraid and ha never have regrets. That was my, my kind of my mantra during my year of service is just don't have any regrets and if it's something that you're scared of, just try it because you never know what might come of it and just always go in with a positive attitude and um, be friendly, don't forget your manners, <laughs> and, but it's, it's just about having fun mm -hmm. and enjoying, enjoying every experience that is offered to you. Perfect. That's great. Yeah. Hmm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm going to come from a, I don't know, <laughs> I guess let go of your expectations. Mm. For myself, it's a lot of, I have this high expectation, and then when I let go of that, you know, I could do anything. So mm. just believe in yourself, let go of your expectations, and limiting beliefs. Like, our limiting beliefs is like, I'm not good enough. Yeah. Well, what is the opposite of that? I am good enough, or I am great, I'm amazing. So... Maybe come up with a good affirmation. Exactly. Love it. Positive. Perfect. And what's great about this is, <laughs> you know, what you've said is so amazing, but it's also you can tell true to who you are as a person yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that's another important point. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I think just be yourself. Mm -hmm. I think there's only one you in this world and in this universe, and you, everybody knows that um, every individual is special and unique, and that's what we try to build at Reach to Run. We try to, you know, um, improve on what they already are and just give them that confidence mm -hmm. and courage to be themselves. And, you know, I mean, be kind. Be Kindness yes. gives you a long way. Mm -hmm. Even in our fashion industry, it's to be kind. You know, I feel that that is really important. It's one of the things that you can give without it costing you anything, you know, and mm -hmm. just make sure you know that you're important in this world. I love yeah. that. Oh, I want to have you on the show. I'm so proud of such okay. a beautiful show. <laughs> Thank you all Thank so you much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This has just been amazing. Yeah. I'm really hoping to get behind the scenes with you guys at the Honolulu Fashion yeah. Week for Reach the Runway. Thank you to all of you for watching the Savvy Chick Show and continuing to support us. And of course, Think Tech Hawaii for having us live every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Honolulu time. Be sure to check us out, tweet us, message us, call us, do whatever <laughs> you like. Love to you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.